Hi, my name's Darius McDermott. I'm Managing Director of Fund Calibre. Today I'm here with John Gumpel, who is the Fund Manager of the Brooks McDonald Defensive Capital Fund. John, what does defensive capital mean? Give us sort of an outline of what you're trying to achieve. Yeah, we're looking for um, attractive returns from defensive assets. So we're not all about buying the most defensive asset just for the sake of it. Um, we're actually, uh, n and quite clearly, we're not about buying high risk assets, but we're about buying a range of defensive assets that give us um, a properly diversified portfolio and give us um, exposure to a range of assets that are likely to provide attractive returns over the two, two and a half year period that we're looking to invest in them for. Um, so they should provide us, because of their nature, with a high degree of stability. Um, but more importantly for us, they should provide us with an attractive level of returns on a risk-adjusted basis over the medium term. We've seen some uh, stock market volatility uh, at the end of 2018, particularly in October. How, how did the fund perform in October, given defensive is you know, in the nature of the fund and what you're trying to achieve? Our call was that this year, I mean, we made a call in January this year saying we thought 2018 was going to be a difficult year for markets. And so we've been positioned relatively defensively over the course of the year. Um, I think we were pretty much flat um, up till the uh, uh, middle of the year. And I think we're pretty much flat year to date now. So we uh, dropped a little bit in October, one, one and a half percent. And we made some of that back. Uh, but we haven't dropped off again with the, the subsequent market moves. And whereabouts are you finding opportunities uh, going forward? What, 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 if anything, in the sort of range of assets that you look at excites you for 2019? Our approach at the moment is very much, and I've again been saying this for about a year, the approach at the moment is to find the least worst assets. It's, it's yeah. to, to avoid the value traps, to avoid the you know, assets that are just overly priced, um, to avoid the assets where there are structural, structural and cyclical uh, issues going forwards. So um, that, that means that we've been pretty negative on equity markets for the course of, of 2018, pretty negative on bond markets. So what does that leave you with? Well, in, a, in one sense, not a lot. But in the other sense, if you once you begin to actively look in, in these areas, um, it leaves you with quite a lot. So we're focused. We, the only way we're, we've really got equity plays at the moment is via our convertible bonds. Right. So we've got a wide range of, of convertible bonds um, based all around uh, U.S., uh, Europe to a lesser extent, Japan and the Far East, um, because effectively they give us the defensive protection with exposure to the equity upside if, if equity markets do begin to bounce following the uh, uh, the recent falls. Um, so the convertibles, we're invested in a, a range of renewable funds, we're interested in infrastructure assets. That's really trying to find assets that are less correlated with equity markets and with bond markets. So that, I think, is going to be the key. And the assets that we are most excited about in terms of least correlation with, with equity and bond markets that I think will do well in, uh, next year, or, uh, again, I'm not entirely sure that much will do well in the first half of next year, um, are the senior bond funds and senior loan funds. We think it's very important to be in a senior debt position, and it's very Im important to... Um, again, not to have short duration. So most of our assets have um, floating rate exposure, but they're senior in, uh, senior and, and high quality. And by senior, you mean when the company's lending, that you're at the front of the queue to be paid Absolutely. back, as opposed to... Absolutely. We want to be first in, in line to be paid the money, and we don't want to be squeezed by any other, anyone else, another lender, um, in advance of us. Thank you, John. Great. For more information on the Brooks McDonald Defensive Capital Fund, please visit fundcaliber.com.